Hello everyone, it's Emily, and I'm here to show you a tutorial. So I show a lot of my resource packing videos, and I have been getting some questions on how to edit them. Now, I thought I would make this little tutorial and show you how I usually edit my resource packs. Now for this one, I'm going to be making one for a friend, uh, Berserker's Fury, so he asked me to do diamonds red for him. So, I will show you how to recolor things using GIMP. Please use GIMP, I have no idea how to use Photoshop. GIMP is free, I'll put a link in the description. It's a great editor, and I use it all the time whenever I'm doing something. So, I will also put a link to Faithful 1.9 in the description. So, this is just Faithful 1.9, everything's together, and you'll see. So usually what I like to do is just rename this. I'm gonna call it Birdcraft. Pretty much name it anything you want and then that's what it'll show up when you put it in the resource pack folder. So go to assets, Minecraft textures, and here's everything. I'm gonna go straight to diamond block and diamond ore because those are the things I'm changing. So let's open up GIMP, get it all set up. If there's no toolbox here, I go to tools, new toolbox, there it is. So I go to file, open. I'll start with the diamond block. Alright, so you can resize this window as big as you need it. And what I like to do is press control and then scroll and it makes it bigger so you don't have to go in and like with the magnifying tool or whatever. Resize and scroll just so you can look at it. Now he wants red so usually if I'm doing a new color I like to do the diamond block first just so I can see how it's gonna look. So you go to colors, colorize and you'll see it changed a little bit. So you can do any color, but I'm going all the way to red here. I like to bring saturation all the way up because it makes it look really nice. Now I can choose the lightness. You can go dark or really light from black to white, and there's, there it is in the middle. I'm going to choose whatever I think looks best. I decided negative 10 looks the best. I like that. So after you've chosen in your colors and done it, you go to export as. Just press export. It'll replace it. Export. And there you go. So you can't just color the whole thing right now because you'll color the stone too. and We don't really want that. So what I like to do is grab the lasso tool, the selection tool. So I just kind of carefully and as close to you can as the lines as possible go all the way around and try and get the whole thing. Right? Making texture packs it takes a lot of hard work and patience if you have it. And it snaps into place but you gotta be careful because it kind of does this weird overlay thing. Then you can colorize again because it's already selected. Now if you forgot what the colors were you can just go to presets and it's right there. First one. There it is. And then you just do that to the rest of these. Sometimes when it's small enough, I like to color it in myself. And as you can see right now, my color tool is not working. It's probably because the brush isn't what I want it to be. And now you want to make sure that it's the smallest one possible, or that happens. So I think GIMP can really only go to 32 by 32. There we go. Control Z is great for uh, undoing. So I just kind of choose a color. And by getting this dropper tool, I just hold Control, click, grabs it and then unclick. There you go. All these little shortcuts. Because sometimes I'm too lazy to select the whole thing again and I just really don't feel like it. So there we go. It's red. Exactly what we wanted. So then we just do the same thing. Export as, export, replace, export. And minimize everything and there it is. And now that that's done, we can go into blocks, uh, select them both, just drag them in. They'll be at the bottom, but they'll still be there. Now that's everything that I think for now that I want to change when it comes to diamonds. So, let's go on to items. Let's grab all the diamond stuff. Just scroll down, there it is. Just grab as much as you can, put it onto the, your desktop. So we got everything here. Let's just start with the diamond because it's the easiest. Color, colorize, presets, first one. Perfect. That's it. And now, let us go to something a little more difficult. Let's go to the pickaxe. Now just like the diamond ore, this is a bit different because you can't just colorize the whole thing or the stick will also be red. Unless that's what you want and it saves work for you, but you know, I like to be a little more precise. So that's when you get your free select lasso tool again. 
Now, you don't need to select every single corner, because when it comes to the outside, there's nothing there. So you just want to select, if it's touching something else, that. And then you can just basically go around like this. Saves you time. And then you've got to come back in and get as close as you can, and then just go around. It'll make a weird little select area like that, and you, then you can just colorize again. Easy peasy. And to deselect all this, I like to grab the rectangle and just click anywhere. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Red pickaxe. Simple as that. Now what do we do? Export as. Diamond pickaxe. Export. Replace. You never do save as, because that does not work when it comes to putting things in resource packs. So now, let's go to... How about the sword? Where is the sword? There you are. Let's do the same thing here. Uh -huh. Alright. Now, if you want, you don't have to do just one color. Burr told me that his favorite color, one of his favorite colors, is also green. So I decided I would make these parts green, but this part's still red. So this is how I would do it. Just kind of carefully get in here, just like this. Now let's colorize as normal. Perfect. You know, it doesn't look nice enough for me. What I like to do, double uh, after you select, double click this. I'm going to make it a little lighter. There we go. And I'll press shift and it'll make a line. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. It just adds a little bit more texture. There we go. That looks nice. And now for the green. Here we go. So just the same thing, be really careful coming in. And now we get to choose a new green. So he didn't tell me what kind of green, so I'm going to make it uh, whatever I feel like looks best. Now it looks like a Christmas sword, I'm just saying. So what I'm going to do is make it a little dark. I like that. That's good. So it looks like we are using this again. Colorize. Back to green. Ta-da! There's our beautiful sword for Burr. Burr ready sword. How it's gonna do the armor too when it's just like the same as the diamond and the diamond block. It's pretty easy. Ta-da! That's it. That's all there is to it. So now that everything's done, I kind of leave everything open, so I have to minimize everything. Try and select them all together. Put it all back. There we go. Now every item that we see, it will be red. Now let's change up the armor, and that's in models. Armor. And then we select the two diamond layer 1 and diamond layer 2 together. Now I can show you a cute little tip that I would like to do. I can do this for Burr, I'm pretty sure he would like it. Diamond layer one is the chest plate. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I th I know that this part right here is the front. So let's color it first. Color eyes. Oh, see what this happens? Oh, this is interesting. All right. See, look, if I try to select a color here, it doesn't change. Now this is important. Okay, so when you have this issue that it won't let you choose the color, it's because it's on a weird color mode. So what you go do is go to image, mode, RGB, there you go, you can colorize again. It's a weird thing that happens sometimes and it's quite annoying. So let's go back to the red, there it is. And now you can pretty much put anything you want onto this armor. Usually I leave it at that, but I can make it a cool B right there for him. Um, I can go look up like pixel fonts and I can kind of just make it freehand if I want, you know. I, it'll 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 end up being a cool B, and I'll make that on the front. All right, I think that looks good. So that's the outline. I think I might change the color of it. Just make it a nice red. I think it's like dark red. Just color, just like that. Yep. Nice B for Burr. Do whatever you want, but I think that was a cool little idea. Now I think I might make it even more textured by just doing a little variation in the color. Putting it every, every once in a while, just like this. One dark, like that. And then one a little lighter.
there. So that's how it looks from far away. So let's export and do the same thing to Diamond Layer 2, but I'm just going to color it. Now that those two things are done, we can open our folder back up and just throw them in there. All right, we're going to test out what we got so far, and I'm going to show you a few more things. So, of course, if you don't know how to do resource pack, I usually have my dot .minecraft folder pinned here, so I can go to resource, that says mods, resource pack, Burcraft, just slide it in there, and just open up your game, make sure you go to resource packs, get rid of everything you got so far, find it, done, look at that, let's put on our armor, grab our tools, let's see what the armor looks like. Ooh, yes! Look at how cute that looks! Nice and red for Burr. I think you'll really enjoy it. Alright, let's look at our tools. Our sword is up here, tools over here. Look at how nice and red they are! <gasps> Ooh, look at this! Look at this majesty! It's just so beautiful! So let's take a look at them. Ooh, -hoo. yes, 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 yes! Now, when you want to keep on working on a resource pack, it won't let you take anything out unless you close the game entirely. I know it's annoying, but that's something you just got to do. Now, one of my favorite things to fix is the GUI stuff, and I'll show you what that is. So let's put it back on the desktop just to make things easier. Now, if we just open it up again, assets, Minecraft, textures, now I'll go to GUI this time. Let's start with the widgets. This is basically the hot bar. So let's open that up. So zoom in. So this is your hotbar area. Make sure to select, because this is important. If you just go straight in, you're gonna just color everything. So try and select as much as you can. Make sure everything looks good, lined up. And now I'm just gonna make this red for him. Red. Look at how nice that looks. Now this is your selector thingy. So we're going to color this a separate color. I'll do a dark red or a light red. We'll see what looks nice. Alright, let's go dark. Let's go light. I like the light. I think the light looks good. There, see? Now every time he selects, it'll be easy to see. Now I also like to change this one. This is when you hover over uh, an option. For Hammy's, his is light blue and mine's pink, of course. So let's change Burr's to be a nice red whenever he hovers over an option in the menu. So just the regular red, probably. Maybe a little lighter. Like that. Cool. Nice, nice. There's nothing really else to change in widgets, so let's just export. Replace widgets. Now, what else we got? Let's change icons. This is always another fun one to do, because you can be creative. His hearts are already red, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to add like a B on his heart. There we go. Cute. Alright, see, I can be personal and do pretty much whatever. So this is his experience bar. I'm going to make that red too, because I really like to go with colors and make it as personalized as you can get it to be. So be sure that you've got the right part selected. Because you don't want to accidentally get any of the other bars. Here we go. Colorize just the red. Looks good. I'm loving this. Put the icons back in. Now the options background is defaultly dirt. Like when you go into a different block and you know, when you go into a menu and you're choosing something, it's like dirt. It's ugly. I never like that. So what I can, you can basically choose any block because it's just got to be the same size. So I think I'll go down to wools and make it the red one. So what you might want to make sure you copy it or it'll get rid of that texture. So now all we have to do for this is rename it. Options. Background. Make sure you actually get rid of this one then because you don't want it to say two. You just want it to say options background. So careful when you're doing that. Let's go back to GUI. Slide it in there. And it's red, and so, yeah, it'll make it look a lot better, I think. So let's take a look at how that looks so far with the new added GUI effects. Just throw this back in there, open up your game. Oh, already right away. Already right away, look at that. Look at how good that looks. 
Nice and cute single player. Oh, look at the background. Nice and red. See, these are the cute little things. Here they are. Check out your inventory. Totally red and totally cute. I love it. Thanks for watching everything that you've seen right here. Um, if you want to go and try it out, please do. Do whatever you want. Be as creative as you want on making your resource packs. Don't just stick to recoloring. Retexture anything you see. Have a good time with it because it has brought me a lot of joy making these for others, editing myself. I have a lot of fun. So, if you liked it, go ahead and like this video and just use these tips and have a good time. Okay, that's it. Bye!